Hey guys and welcome back to the fifth video in our series and in this part we are going to create the image grid that's our 3 by 3 image grid and it's not like you have to create only 3 by 3 you can add more images or you can remove some images grid depends upon what you want so anyways let's get into the coding and create a section tag then class wrapper we are using wrapper to remove the margin and the padding and to set the display as block and anyways we have seen the text hyphen dark and the pg light pink both of the classes and what they do then id image grid and one more thing we use id with a html element when we want to refer to only one element and when we want to refer to many elements in one simple way then we use the class so if we have written the id as image grid then this id will not be used with any other element so that we can only reference this section with this id this is the basic difference between using class and id anyways then let's start with the title create a div and this div will be the container for the title then let's create the s2 tag and class heading then we want the heading to be in black color and it should be aligned in the center and let's give a little big font size then you can write any heading that you want to write all right then get below it and let's start with the grid then let's create a div and this div will be the container for the grid so let's give this grid a, a new class let's say container hyphen grid so that we can add the padding in the margin appropriately for this image grid then d hyphen flex hyphen c so that we can create the image grid row wise because of this class we are going to get the elements aligned into different rows but in a single column so in these three rows we are going to then define the images anyways then get inside and let's start with the first row so for defining one row with three image we are going to use a ul tag and ul tag we have already seen this is an unordered list tag it will not have any numbering but the list items will have bullet symbol which we which we will get rid of anyway then class d hyphen flex hyphen r so that the images that we define under one row will be stacked next to each other in one row anyways then let's get inside and create a li class hover one since we are going to add hovering effect over the image and also you can have many more types of hovering effect so because of that reason i'm just giving it a name hover one so that you can have more classes hover two and there will be no ambiguity then get inside and create a img tag then let me just write the source all right then get inside and create another div and this div will be the overlay or you can say this div is going to add the text when we hover over the image this completely defines one image so copy this entire li tag you can see from where this li tag has started and from where it is ending copy this entire li then paste it two more times so that we can get three images in total all right then after that just quickly change the source of the images so that we can have different images in different rows all right let's revert back to the browser and see all right 
we have the three images and the text is appearing below it we will get rid of those text and have them displayed only when we hover over the image anyways let's just minimize this ul tag and by minimizing we only reduce the visibility of the text the text is still there and everything will work as it was working then copy this entire ul tag because one ul tag is defining one row so if we copy the entire ul tag and paste it two more times then in total we will get three rows all right let me paste it then change the titles so that it will be easier for you to understand which ul tag is for which row all right also if you want to try something new then you can follow what i am doing you can have three images in the first row then two images in the second row then again three images in the last row if you want to do like this you can do it otherwise you can have three images in all the rows so if you want to have two images in the second row then just remove one li tag any one of them from the second row and change in the names or the source of the images pause the video and see what are the names that i have given to the images all right then let's move to the css and let's begin with the container grid and let's give it a width of 65 percent and add some padding at the bottom let's say 6 rem all right then let's start with the hovering effect over the image and the class that we have used to refer to the hovering effect is hover1 so let's reference to that and it's all pretty simple just keep pausing the video and follow it Then let's style the overlay class. Let it start from the top left corner. Let's add background color, a little gray. And let's add a transition effect over it. The first part defines that the transition is for all the properties. The second one is the transition duration. And then third one defines the transition function according to which the curve of the transition will take place. All right. Now let's hide it by making the opacity set to zero so that we can have this effect only when we hover over the image and not otherwise. Then let's style the image or the img tag within the hovering effect.
let's add the transition effect to the image also then let's refer to the h2 tag which is defining the title within the images All right. This translate method moves an element from its current position according to the parameters that we give for the x axis and the y axis. And the translate y property defines a translation using only the value for the y axis so that the movement of the element is along the y axis only. Then let's add some padding all around it. We cannot see it until we hover the image. So let's set that and also we want the image to get enlarged or get bigger when we hover over it. So for that we will use transform and the scale method. And with the scale, we will give more than one so that the size of the image enlarges. Alright. Then let's display the overlay class when we hover over the image. By setting the opacity to one. Now we need to display the H2 tag when we hover over the image. So for that also we will set the opacity to 1. The translate Y to bring the H2 tag back to its original location or original position while defining the H2 tag within the hover 1 class we have given the translate Y minus 100 pixel so that it is outside its container and that's why it's not visible when we hover over the image we want the H2 tag to come back to its original position so that we can see it and for that we have written the translate Y to 0 Alright, now let's just use the media queries so that below 768 pixel we get only one image in one row. Alright, so for that we will use the d-flex-r class and this class was used with the ul tag. So we need not use any space between the ul and dot d hyphen flex hyphen r then flex direction to column if you want to see this is the ul tag and this is the d hyphen flex hyphen r class that we have used with it and because of which the images are aligned in different columns but in a single row so by changing the flex direction we can get all the images in different rows UL tag is not getting aligned in the center and we are getting some sort of padding on the left so let's get rid of that below 640 pixel
let's make the padding 0 below 640 pixel Right. Now it is perfectly center aligned and with this we have completed this section also and the next section that we will do is the text section.